I can't even lock on to them. There we go. Kill that guy. Oh, these guys are actually suit at you. Like normal villains they are, they always suit at you, even if they know the place is gonna explode. But I guess they only fire at you if you fire at them. So that does make sense. Hey, die! This gun sucks so bad. Uh, you gonna suit me? I assume you are, so die. Look, this guy has a glitz. Look at this. This is the third or fourth time this happened. Alright. So now we jump in this hole. And we run this way. Or we run this way. Alright. So now we get new, t new time. Get out before the factory explodes. See if he can take out this guy and this guy. All right, no time to uh, sit out the weapons. Let's go ahead and kill them. Oh crap! I don't have any more. Whatever. Run, bucket. Ugh. We only have 75 seconds, and the X is right there. Will we make it? Oh crap! That was kind of anticlimactic. But we do get blasted out of a sewer pipe. So how cool is that, right? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So now we're here out on the beach. Whoa! I believe if you look closely, you can see a guy flying out of that. I don't know if it was a guy or a piece of debris. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, that smoke won't hurt you, so no reason to drop down or anything. Go ahead and reload. Checkpoint. Oh, great, now we're more into docks. And of course, since these things are glowing, you gotta suit them. Suit that, suit that, and now we can get across. It's a pretty cool little puzzle. Ooh! You know, pretty much every first person guy, first person shooter guy, cannot swim. Well, they can in later games, but usually first person people can't swim. Uh, is this an Uzi? I'd rather take this Uzi, to be honest, than to have that Type 89. Oh, look at this, it has full, a full ammo. Next to full ammo already. You cannot get a better deal than that. Uh, ah! uh, no one camping behind that corner. Let's go here with our sights up. Oh great, we got another checkpoint for doing nothing. Alright. Let's see if it was down here. No. Nope. Oh, there's Ryuji. Ryu Ryuji. I can't say that name. Ugh. Fucker's gonna kill me. Wow, I just saw a crap ton of bullets in this guy and he did not die. And again, I guess that Uzi does have bullet spread. Oops. My bad, I hit the mic. Again. I really gotta stop learn not to do that. Just spray down the aisle. Oh, you know what? Better yet, have a grenade. Grenade out! <laughs> nice. And that was a great idea to pick up the Uzi, because now everybody's dropping Uzis now. Uh, well, there's a ladder here, so I assume we go up it. And there's some stairs over here. Um... <laughs> What's the point of going up that ladder? Oh, I guess we can get. Oh, the point of going up that ladder is to get on this side of the fence. So you can walk up these stairs. I wonder who he has at gunpoint. Let's go and save him and find out. Gianna Ryuzi is a bad, bad man. No crap. 
Uh, just do that. Hit him. Thank you. Go ahead and drop your guns. And kill this guy. I don't care about you. So yeah, having them drop their guns is a pretty good way of getting respect points. Really good way. Because if you do it, I think it restores some of your uh, slow motion time. Also, giving you more opportunity to, to do more. So it's a pretty good way of getting more points for the level. Go ahead and drop your guns. I won't kill you. I can't jump over this? Oh, come on. Alright, there's more people sitting at me. I don't want to go down there. Unless all these people are dead. Oh. Wow. Oh, look at you just camping there behind the boxes. Alright. I think that's all. So let's go down, reload our gun. What do we got here? What do we got? More Uzi ammo. No, you, just, you can always use more of that. Uh, switch back to the Type 12 shotgun and. Crap, crap, run! Uh. Clean out! Oh. That was stupid. More force, more. Oh, that was too much. But it's. It still hurt. It still killed that guy. Look at that. It still killed that guy, even if that grenade exploded right up there in the air. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, the stairs are blocked, so we go through here. Got a flying light on our face. All right, what's up? So, can't I trust any of you to kill him? You useless dogs! Cover me! Oh, now we get to fight with uh, Ryuji himself. Awesome. He must be the final boss of the game, because obviously we wouldn't be fighting him if it weren't the end of the game. Kill him, we'll find out where Miyu is, and we'll be done with this game before you know it. Totally not being sarcastic or anything. Totally not. Uh, I think we can take care of some of, some, some of, some of his goons with slow motion. Usually it's just really easier just to hit the white spot of the gun, of their gun, than uh, to actually get a killing blow on them. Oh, come on, I was aiming right at you. Alright, stick your head out. Stick your... Oh, yeah, alright, you're dead, you're dead. Oh, I gotta stop jumping like that. I keep mixing up the buttons to jump and duck. Um... Sir. <laughs> You can just kind of spam that at him. Oh crap, we gotta catch up to him. I don't know where to go, I don't know where to go! Oh, well this gate opens up. What the heck? Okay, guess this clone came after me. That looked exactly like him. Um, okay, up these steps. Ignore the skies firing behind you, you really need to make this Oh great, now we get to fight him again. You never do give up, do you, Scott? I knew I should have killed you the first time we met. What a pity, really. You came such a long way to die. But I did warn you. Alright, time to fight Ryuji for real this time. Luckily he starts off with my attack, so it's easy to hit him. But he only let you get like one attack in. Ah, oh, I knew he was going to do a heavy attack. I knew it. Try using the hammer on him. I think it's pretty effective. If he gives you the chance... Yeah, there we go. Alright! We learned so much in that... two days since we last saw him. Don't kill me just yet, Gaijin. I can still be useful to you. And I'll tell you what you want to know. I admit I didn't expect to see you again. 
And I have to say, you are a strong fighter. No one has ever defeated me before. But you should enjoy the sweet taste of your victory now. Because it won't last. I know you're dying to know where your sweet little girlfriend is. Well, she's not even here anymore. My boss, Tokai-sama, has her. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Unless, maybe, if you come to your senses and give us the katana kiri. But no. Tokai-sama will take it from you anyway. He doesn't fear those old wolves like that old-timer Sato. Tokai-sama has higher ambitions for the Yakuza. He... <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. So we find out that Tokai-sama is the real evil guy. Thank you so much, young man. I am Akira Matsubara. For years, I've been the boss of this whole area. My organization always supported Sato. We were strong. We were feared. And now, see? One moment of weakness, and the new generation tries to wipe us out. But we won't let that happen. I have no idea what these people had in mind for me. But if Toka is really behind all this, then we will need all the help we can find. That is, if you are ready to work for the Yakuza. I will let you go now. You said I could meet you at the Americans Club? Let me think of a strategy, and I will get back to you soon. Ooh, well, that was something. Yeah. Pretty awesome. So we learned that Ryuzi, Ryuzi is working for Tokai, and he, he's the main villain of the game. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything after this. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I think we just go back to the club, and I think that about does it. We might get some dialogue. Uh, well, yeah, we might, maybe we will, but we can say that for next time. So, uh, we'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching. Bye. I'm so tired. Uh, sitting in that seat for like what? 43 minutes? What the heck? Uh, it's gonna be a pain to edit out.